In my last video, I asked whether the Imperial College Epidemiology team had made any historical mistakes, uh, as in dire predictions not being wholly in tune with eventual reality. And I ask this because it's an important question, bearing in mind uh, Neil Ferguson uh, Imperial's then head honcho had stated half a million of us might die in Britain and over two million in America. Now I think it's fair to say that Boris Johnson was completely swayed by Ferguson and although President Trump was not so easily converted, he certainly took Ferguson's catastrophic predictions on board. Now Ferguson has just been sacked, not for being utterly useless and criminally irresponsible, but for the lesser crime of knocking off an itinerant socialist stroke eco-activist bimbo uh, who has yet to claim she was offering essential services during lockdown. Uh, but his legacy lives on because the government is still carrying out policies uh, shaped by Ferguson, not least um, his insistence that if lockdown was lifted tomorrow, uh, 100,000 of us would immediately croak it. Uh, but what is this man's track record in predicting the likely outcomes of pandemic infections? And should we really trust the government to do the right thing if they are unquestioningly following the advice of this, of this randy little catastrophist. In 2001, Ferguson's imperial team produced modelling on foot and mouth disease uh, that suggested animals should be culled even if there was no evidence of infection. And this influenced government policy and led to the total slaughter of more than six million perfectly healthy cattle, sheep and pigs. That's hundreds of years of selected breeding wiped out in days. At farmers and their families reduced to tears and penury. And many experts have accused Ferguson's modelling of being severely flawed and that he made a, fund a fundamental error in the basic input he shoved into his computer. Um, a subsequent uh, inquiry into Ferguson's report labelled it not fit for purpose, or in layman's terms, garbage fed into a computer leads to garbage coming out of a computer. And garbage out has consequences, of course. Healthy animals paid the price then, uh, just as healthy humans are paying a price now. In 2002, Ferguson said that between 50 people and 50,000 people uh, could die from eating beef products infected with uh, bovine spongiform encephal something or other, uh, otherwise known as BSE or mad cow disease. Well, that's a pretty good spread, 50 to 50,000. You know, nothing like keeping your options open, but hardly what one would term accurate, expert, temperate advice what should be listened to. And in the event, only 177 people died from mad cow disease. In 2009, Ferguson predicted that swine flu could lead to 65,000 deaths, but he miscalculated by 64,543, because only 457 people were polished off by swine flu. And this sort of thing happens when you use decimal points in relation to a country filled with almost 70 million people. That, that the smallest change on one statistical input, uh, 0.01 or 0.1, is massively magnified when it's multiplied by 70 million, you see, which is rather, well, it, it rather makes all computer modelling a total waste of time anyway. Um, a good example of this uh, can be seen in Ferguson's apocalypse computer predictions with regard to bird flu in 2005, where he suggested global deaths could amount to 200 million, uh, but in reality were less than 300. I mean, how majestically, unbelievably wrong was that? He wasn't just slightly wrong, he was wrong by such a degree of magnitude, it beggars belief he wasn't laughed out of his industry. All in all, uh, if you were a gambling man, uh, or woman, or indeed anything in between, uh, it's unlikely you would bet one pound on a horse backed by Ferguson running in the 2.30 at Kempton Park. Uh, but Boris Johnson hasn't just bet his house, he's bet the entire British economy 
on a three-legged horse with a dodgy ticker and ingrown hooves. And it gets worse. Scientists who think Ferguson is an out-and-out -out fraudster have asked to see the computer codes he fed into his catastrophe computer. But Ferguson has said that much of it is undocumented, that it's all in his head, uh, that it was written 13 years ago for a different viral outbreak entirely. I mean, can you believe all this? The normal operation, as far as I can understand, uh, is that the computer code should be written down uh, in crayon, at least, but preferably in biro, uh, that it should be published and thereby open for inspection and peer review, that it should be up to date, and that it should be specifically written for a specific viral outbreak. But none of this applies to Ferguson or Imperial College, it would seem. So the entire country is shut down, the economy is tanking, the police have turned into the picnic Gestapo, people are dying from non-Covid-19 illnesses surrounded by half-empty hospitals, and all because of an undocumented, unpeer-reviewed uh, report, 13 years out of date, written for something other than Covid-19, by a non-medical man with a track record of getting his numbers not just wrong, but wrong to a degree that boggles the mind. I mean, to be quite frank with you, this really isn't on, is it?